everybody, this is the Website Boy again with tutorial number four, creating the layout and cleaning up, all right? So let's go. Now, for those of you that don't know how to navigate, this is how you do it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you're missing out, all right? So make sure you hit that subscribe there and it's just going to subscribe you automatically. You don't have to do anything else. And every time I upload a video, you're going to get an email, all right, from YouTube. Right. For those of you that see this thumbs up, please click it. That motivates me to make a lot more tutorial. It, it wakes me up in the day. Right. It, it gives me a lot of energy. So make sure you do that if you like my videos. Don't forget. And for those of you that like my videos, thank you. I really appreciate it. You make my day. You're awesome. All right. Thank you so much. Let's go ahead. Let me show you how to make, how to clean up, and how to create the layout in our new website. Go ahead and open up our browser. Okay, and then we are going to go to the website that we just installed on the last tutorial. If you haven't done so already, press the preview on the top left of your screen and go back and learn how to do that. So for me, it's going to be computerprogrammerforyou.com. That's the domain that we bought, and this is where we installed the, um, what you want to call it? the uh, software right the web the, the website so what, what we're gonna do is if you're not logged into your to your administration area you need to log in and so let's say for example we come here right and we want to log in what we got to do is come to the login and then we can log in from there or we can go ahead and click uh, or type forward slash WP admin and log in this way all right, so let's go ahead and let me just put my password in there. All right, I'm doing this because I have a program that does the password for me called RoboForm because I got too many passwords and too many usernames. All right, so now let's go ahead and, and, and start taking some of the stuff off that we don't need. Right now, for example, this marketplace module services here we don't need that so we're gonna go to plugins on the top left there on the left and then we're on the module marketplace link that we're gonna click on deactivate all right and then when we click deactivate we're gonna go ahead and delete this we don't need this and we're gonna delete all these files that and that says done right because if you delete it it's just gonna go to the trash it's not gonna we're gonna delete it permanently Right now, we're not going to delete anything else. Then we want to deactivate the WP Super Cache. And this is in the Plugins tabs, okay? The reason is because we are in the, uh, right now in development, right? We're going to develop the website, and the cache is just going to not allow us to see changes that we make immediately to the website. Cache is used to improve the speed of your website. Right now, we don't need it, so we're going to deactivate it, all right? So now that, that that's done, the next step is installing the layout right now our layout looks like this if you hover your mouse with above here and then on visit page you can click that but I'm gonna right click it and open a new tab on Chrome you can see the front of your website and this is how it looks right now I don't like it all right so let's let's install a, a different layout and the cool thing about this software called WordPress is that it has it has many soft uh, layouts that you can choose from so let's go to appearance themes all right, and uh, this one is gonna call. Let me see who man, who man. All right, actually, it's not going to do anything. You gotta click on add new. Actually, I'm sorry, add new, and then you can search here for for that who and who man, and then click enter. And then here we are going to download this one right here. Install. And then here you can have a live preview of it, you know, but we don't want to do that because I already we already know how this looks. I showed it I showed it to you in the first video. Let's click this X here to exit and then activate. All right. Then when we do that, we come back to the front of the website and we refresh. And now we got this whole different layout here already. It's already is pre-made for us. You see that? Beautiful. Now what we have to do is fix the, the links, make pages, and, and do some other cool stuff here to actually uh, improve this and make it a lot better than what it is right now. So, all right. So now that we have to install the, the theme, 
the next step is actually fixing the menu all right right now there's no menu here so let's go to it let's go to menus click right here it's a couple links below appearance menu and then here we're gonna create something called main menu right we're gonna create a menu click on create menu and then we're going to click on this top bar there and save menu again that's what we're gonna check on that and then we're gonna go to pages and we're gonna down trash this page one once it's trash then we're gonna go to trash and we tr delete it permanently we don't need that page we go back to it let's go to the front of our site there's nothing there because we don't have a page there but we're going to create a page in the next video and we're going to start with the home page and, and taking care of the sidebars too. All right. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Keep uh, open eye for the next one. Pay, pay a lot of attention to what I'm doing. All right. And if you have to rewind the video, rewind it and look at it again. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video where we're going to be adding the home page and doing some modifications. Thank you so much. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.